Hi, in this video, we will derive the equation for centroid of semicircle. Okay, see for semicircle, so if I take a semicircle, if G is uh, centroid of the semicircle, if G is centroid of the se semicircle, if I draw centroidal axis, centroidal x axis and centroidal y axis so you can see that uh, the figure is symmetric about y axis which means this y axis is dividing the figure into two equal parts right figure is divided into two equal parts by the centroidal y axis therefore if the figure is symmetric about y axis then x bar is known okay if the figure is symmetric about y axis then x bar is known what is the value of x bar x bar is equal to if i take d as diameter of semicircle then x bar will be d by 2 okay if i take d as diameter of the semicircle the distance of the centroid from reference y axis is d by 2 therefore here for semicircle x bar is known that is d by 2 but if we check symmetry about the x axis we can see that the figure is not symmetric about x axis right figure is not symmetric about x axis means uh, this uh, x axis not dividing the figure into two equal parts right x axis is not dividing the figure into two equal parts therefore we have to determine or we have to derive an equation for y bar we have to derive the equation for the y bar okay so for semicircle x bar is known because of symmetry about y axis x bar is equal to d y2 and we have to derive the equation for the y bar okay so below i will write a sentence figure is figure is symmetric about symmetric about y axis figure is symmetric about y axis therefore therefore x bar is equal to d by 2 x bar is equal to d by 2 or it is also equal to radius radius if i take r as capital r as radius of semicircle x bar is equal to d by 2 or it is equal to radius okay now we have to derive an equation for y bar okay we have to derive the equation for the y bar now so here i'll take the reference x axis reference x axis now here i have drawn centroidal axis okay let me take this as y okay now for derivation purpose what i will do i will consider an elemental strip okay i will consider an elemental strip elemental strip of thickness dr of thickness dr at a radial distance small r from the center of the circle okay at a radial distance small r from the center of the circle okay dr okay and let me take theta as inclination of the elemental strip with the x axis and let me assume d theta as 
angle inside the elemental strip okay angle inside the elemental strip now what will be this length of the curve length of the curve will be so we know it is a we have a general formula for finding the length of the curve if we have a curve of radius r with included angle theta then this length of the curve is equal to r into theta this you will be studied in your puc okay length of the curve is equal to radius into included angle r into radial is equal to r into theta so by using the same equation we will for we will write the equation for length of the curve curve here so here small r is the radius d theta is the included angle so length of the curve here is r into d theta okay length of the curve is r into d theta okay let me take r capital r as radius of the semicircle capital r as radius of the semicircle now i want the equation for the y bar i want to derive the equation for the y bar so for the y bar we have a generalized formula that is moment of area moment of area divided by total area divided by total area okay now we will write equation for area of the elemental strip area of elemental strip elemental strip is equal to da is equal to let me take it as da okay area of the elemental strip we will take it as da da is equal to see this elemental strip whatever the elemental strip we have considered that elemental strip is assumed to be a rectangle of sides r into d theta and dr okay <clears throat> so whatever the d theta included angle we have considered it is assumed to be very negligible angle okay very negligible angle so we will uh, assume this elemental strip as a rectangle of sides r d theta into dr okay whatever the curvature of the elemental strip okay whatever the curvature it is having no it is assumed to have very negligible curvature okay it is assumed to have the elemental strip is assumed to have very negligible curvature that is why what we will do we will assume it as a rectangle of sides r d theta and dr therefore area of the elemental strip will be width into height or width into depth width is r d theta and depth is dr okay so r d theta into dr okay now we got the area for elemental strip area of the elemental strip no total area total area is equal to total area is equal to so before finding total area what we will do we will find moment of the area okay we will find moment of the area so to find moment of the area first what i will do i will find moment of elemental strip about x axis about x axis moment of moment of elemental strip moment of elemental strip about about x axis is equal to x axis is equal to here i want moment of elemental strip about the x axis we know that moment of area is area into perpendicular distance it is similar to the moment of a force force into perpendicular distance moment of force is force into per perpendicular distance similarly moment of an area is area into perpendicular distance so we are finding moment of elemental strip about the x axis which is equal to area of elemental strip da into perpendicular distance perpendicular distance we will measure it what we will do i will draw one vertical here okay i will draw one vertical here so this is what the perpendicular distance of elemental strip from the x axis so i want this distance right to find this distance you take this right angle triangle okay right angle triangle this right angle triangle this right angle triangle measure sin theta 
measure sin theta sin theta is equal to opposite let me take this as this distance as a a a by hypotenuse r therefore therefore a is equal to r sin theta a is equal to r sin theta therefore perpendicular distance is what r sin theta perpendicular distance is r sin theta therefore moment of elementary strip about the x axis is da into perpendicular distance r sin theta okay now we got moment of elementary strip about the x axis okay to get moment of whole area about the x axis what we have to do we have to integrate okay we have to integrate with the suitable limits okay so we want moment of area no to get moment of area we have calculated moment of element elementary strip about the x axis now to get moment of whole area moment of whole area whole area about about x axis is equal to so integration so you have to apply suitable limits integration limits see integration from limits 0 to r 0 to capital r whatever the elementary strip it is considered it is considered for a small radius small r okay and 0 to pi 0 to pi okay so you have to integrate with respect to the radius radius as well as the angle okay whatever the elementary strip it is considered for small angle d theta and small radius r so you have to integrate with respect to the radius as well as angle okay so uh, i hope you understood uh, the applying of uh, limits to this equation okay so da into da into r sin theta da into r sin theta so 0 to pi integration limits limits from 0 to r you know the equation for da here da is equal to what r d theta into dr substitute here r d theta into dr into remaining equation is r sin theta r sin theta therefore integration limits from 0 to pi and 0 to r y 0 to pi pi means it is 180 degree so semicircle okay so it will have 180 degree angle right 180 degree angle that is what is 0 to pi so this becomes r square sin theta into dr into d theta now integrate with respect to r it will be r cube by 3 limits from 0 to r remaining equation is 0 to pi into sin theta into d theta now so you, you apply the limits now r cube by 3 r cube by 3 now integrate with respect to theta this term so it will be minus cos theta so integration of sin theta is minus cos theta right limits from 0 to pi now i'll take this minus outside the integration means outside the bracket it will be minus r cube by 3 so in the bracket you will get cos theta limits from 0 to pi now apply the limits minus r cube by 3 into cos pi minus cos 0 is equal to minus r cube by 3 cos pi value is minus 1 minus cos 0 value is 1 so minus r cube by 3 minus 1 minus 1 it will be minus 2 therefore it will be 2 r cube by 3 now we got moment of area numerator we got we know the formula for total area of the semicircle we know that total area total area of semicircle is equal to 
half of area of the circle. Area of the circle is pi r square divided by 2 will give area of the semicircle. Now we got moment of whole area about the x axis. Moment of area. We know the equation for total area. Just now we have written it. Substitute. Substitute. Therefore, therefore, y bar is equal to moment of area divided by total area. Moment of area is 2r cube by 3. 2r cube by 3 divided by total area is pi r square by 2. r square gets cancelled. Here only r remains in the numerator. So after simplification, y bar is equal to 4r by 3 pi. Okay. So this is the final equation for y bar. Therefore, for a semicircle, for a semicircle, distance of centroid from its base, okay, is 4r by 3 pi okay from this end point from this end point x bar is equal to distance of centered is r okay okay for semicircle the distance of some distance of centroid from its diameter is always 4r by 3 pi and distance of centroid from either points is always equal to radius Okay, so this completes the derivation for centroid of semicircle. Thank you.